What to make for lunch or dinner is a question which is always there in our minds. And it is good to have a few quick and easy recipes that we can prepare and that everyone in the family loves. One such dish for me is my creamy coconut mushroom curry. It is loaded with flavors and is not too spicy either. But what makes this curry unique is the addition of coconut milk. And to make fresh coconut milk, I use my Balzano slow juicer. Balzano is an Italian premium brand with 115 plus years of experience in home and kitchen. The best part about this juicer is that it costs only rupees 599. It is budget friendly and gives you the best result every time. So let's see how to make this creamy coconut mushroom curry. For making this curry, we need coconut milk. And when you can extract it fresh at home, why buy it? Add chopped coconut pieces into the feeding tube of the Balzano slow juicer and then let it do its magic. Its Juice Max technology gives you maximum juice, maximum nutrition with minimum wastage. It rotates at 55 RPM, giving you low oxidation juices and has a separate outlet for pulp and juice extraction, making it so convenient. It is just perfect to make any nut milk of your choice. It has a reverse motor feature too to unclog the pulp in case it gets stuck. And now that we have the coconut milk ready, let us start making the curry. Into a pan, add a little bit of oil and once the oil heats up, add the cumin seeds and fennel seeds. To this add some grated coconut and fry it on low to medium heat till it starts changing to a golden brown color. Next add some coriander powder, chili powder and turmeric powder and saute till the mix is aromatic. Remove this from heat and let it cool down. Once it cools down, transfer it to a blender jar, add a little water and grind it to a smooth paste. Let us keep this aside while we move on to the next process. Into a kadai, add oil and once it heats up, add ginger, garlic, curry leaves and green chilli. Once this is aromatic, add the onions and saute till the onion changes colour. To this, add the tomato along with some salt and let it cook till soft. Next, add the ground masala paste to this and cook it for a couple of minutes. Add chopped mushrooms and cook till the mushroom releases water and cooks through. To this, let us add our freshly extracted coconut milk along with some garam masala powder and pepper powder. Mix it well and let it come to a single boil and then turn off the heat. Make sure you serve this curry hot. You can always garnish it with some fresh curry leaves before serving. So I hope you've liked this recipe and will surely try it out.